when I was thinking about this question, I was thinking about like, what do people do when they look into the sky? They usually look at the clouds and they're like, ooh, that looks like a turtle or that looks like a dog. That looks like a, I don't know, baseball glove. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where you're going with this. <laughs> so I figured if I can control the weather, I can control the clouds too. And I can control the shapes of the clouds. So I can make like my own cloud picture things and I can do like art with the clouds. So in order to do this, I wanted to look at like what tools I have as an artist. Um, so I looked at like different types of clouds. Um, and there are the common ones that are like cumulus, which is um, like those puffy, fluffy clouds. You see them all the time. It's like when you say cloud, it's what you think of. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's stratus clouds, which are flat and hazy. So what I think of when you say clouds. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They're like more two dimensional. So maybe good for like backgrounds in your in your picture. There's cirrus clouds, which are thin streams like like strands of hair sort of. So I don't know if you're making like a picture of a person, then you could use it for hair. And there's cyrocumulus clouds, which are patchy, almost like polka dots sort of. So, I don't know, you can make some sort of pattern with those. Those are, like, the more common types of clouds. There are some less common types of clouds. And for the listeners, if you have, like, a computer or, like, a phone somewhere, I recommend looking these up just because this is very visual. I'm going to try to describe them as best as possible. but Paint me a word picture. Yeah. But, like, looking at a picture, these are pretty cool. So the first one is called Morning Glory Cloud. And they're basically, like, giant... They're like rolling clouds sort of in like rows. So they're like giant tubes almost. And they're in like perfect rows. So if you, and it, it spans for like a really long distance. So it's just like a bunch of clouds in rows. Yeah. Let me, let me pull it up and see if I can't help your word. Yeah. yeah I'm, you I'm it also doing this. Morning glory oh. clouds. Oh. I, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it that's looks very weird. bizarre. Yeah. yeah. So they're like, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a tube. Yeah, it's a tube, and they're all, like, in the same... Yeah. They're all and I, in rows. And, and like, to, to, to clarify, it's a tube that is parallel to the ground. Yeah, it's, like, horizontal. Almost like, like concentric rings, but not rings. It's someone laid down those, those string cheeses next to each other. Yes. Like, it literally just looks like that. But fluffier. <laughs> it's like a tube of cloud that's rolling on the ground, and they're all yeah. rolling, like, in a row. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And these clouds, I guess they don't really know, like how they form really <laughs> like why they form i i don't really need to know because i can control i can just do it so <laughs> you might have to know a little bit about how they work to get them to get them to like you know show up uh, i don't know about that i can just do it <laughs> <laughs> um another type of cloud is a uh, mamatus cloud m a m m a t u s cloud yeah my my google gave it to me and these are like smooth lumpy they look really weird like they look so surreal they kind of like like um like the bottom of an egg carton no it looks like the second a water balloon hits a chain link fence and you and just like the little bulbous parts are coming through the fence Mm, if you're watching on like a super slow motion thing yeah yeah like a super slow motion as the water balloon before the water balloon pops as it's coming like through the pokes in the fence for some reason it reminds me of uh like a sea anemone i can see that i'm happy i'm helping you with these descriptions <laughs> <laughs> yeah but these are associated with storm fronts and they're still they're also not really entirely understood how they form but i don't know storm front i'll make a storm front <laughs> <laughs> and then with all these clouds you don't want to just have like bland white clouds in your art you want some sort of color so to add color, I have some other things. There are noctilescent clouds, and these are these only happen at twilight. Um, so like when the sun is right below the horizon, but it's still like lighting up the clouds, and it actually it like illuminates the clouds so that there it's like a glowing effect. Oh yeah, sort of. I'm looking yeah. at it now. So I can sprinkle these into my picture somehow to add some nice glow effects. And then obviously there are rainbows that I could use, moon bows, which we discovered were a thing. So are you make are you making these pictures just for yourself as an artist and for people's enjoyment? Uh, I think I would put on like art shows. Okay. And maybe like make people first... pay for when them. You, <laughs> when you first started and you were like, 
you know, people are like, oh, that looks like a cloud, and that looks like a horse. I was going to be like, and that one looks like there's, it's buy one, get one at DSW today. <laughs> oh, <big ads. laughs> yeah, just, I can just do that too, ads. I guess. I, I do see a problem with the charge me pool mission thing, is that, which is that it's in the sky. Like, it's going to be kind of hard to... Well, you can, like... I don't know, you could, like, partner up with a hotel or something, like a beach resort. Oh, yeah, that works. Go to a, uh, to go to a residence at, like, Walt Disney World. Yeah, it's like fireworks. Fireworks are in the sky. Yeah. But if I want to add more color, um, auroras are a thing. You might have heard the aurora borealis. Mm-hmm. Is that a weather thing, or is, or is that... That's an atmosphere. Well, I guess it's, a, it's an atmosphere thing. Isn't it, like, weather electromagnetic? Thing, sort of. Yeah, the description of, like, how it actually happens, I didn't really understand, but it was, like said like the magnetosphere is disturbed by solar winds and like it causes electrons and protons to lose energy and that emits light emits color and stuff i don't know <laughs> i didn't understand yeah it. i learned i learned why the sky was blue like in like a actual like particle physics class and it like fucking like blew my mind i can't even remember exactly how it worked but it was basically like yeah the way the wavelength of light going through the air has the highest probability of exciting this particular thing and reflecting in this particular angle, which <laughs> happens to be blue. Right. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. It got gone into like real high physics shit. Like we haven't figured out in like the until like the last like 10, 20 years. Yeah, I've definitely Googled that and then saw the description and just like, yeah, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm good. It's blue. That's enough for me to know. Yeah. Next thing is called a fire rainbow. Which is extremely rare, and it's actually formed when refraction from the sun, from sunlight or moonlight, is uh, it's refracted in ice crystals in the atmosphere. And it, it's basically, oh. like, the look of it is just, like, it's a fire in the sky, but it's, like, rainbow colors. It looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. There's some pretty sick photos of this one on the web. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how many of them are photoshopped. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good question. <laughs> yeah. But some of them aren't, and those ones still look cool, so... It really does look like some, there's like some cool clouds, like wispier clouds, and someone just took like the Photoshop color replacement tool and just went shunk, right? Yeah. One big <laughs> stripe across. Right, exactly. And then the last thing on this list to add to my art that I'd use is called ball lightning. Ooh. Yeah, we talked about this. Didn't we talk about? I feel like we talked about ball lightning. Like a I talked about ago. ball lightning to you off the show. Oh, uh, I was like, didn't we do this last episode? <laughs> no. <laughs> so ball lightning is an unexplained phenomenon. It's basically, there's a ball of lightning and it's it's like a sustained ball. So it's it's not like regular lightning where it just goes away right away. And it like moves slowly and they don't really know why it happens. And there's so little instances of it happening that they can't really study it. And like people's accounts of it have been different and unreliable. So they Really know, like, nothing about it. <laughs> um, some people say that it, it, like, explodes after a, a little while. Some people say it just fades away. But I think I could harness this and put it in my, my art. I mean, it would be impressive. And then they could study it, Chris. And you could be like, oh, I know how to do it. All you have to do is snap <laughs> your fingers. Yeah, that's all you need to do. <laughs> just control the weather. It's all it takes. It's got to be the middle finger, though. The ring finger does not give you ball light. The l- ring finger gives you tornadoes. Don't mix them up. <laughs> I did want to use tornadoes at some point for for my art, but I couldn't really do it. I know they have, like, fire tornadoes, which is cool. Could you do, like, a little tornado just start it in a ball pit? Because that would be sweet. That'd be pretty awesome. In a ball pit? <laughs> yeah, like just a multicolored ball pit and just put a little tornado inside. I guess you could do that. Have, a like, a giant blender sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, giving me more ideas for my art show. Maybe it should be my art show. Ah, oh, don't steal my idea. Except I'm too busy powering the fucking world, Chris. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't need two people powering the world. It would help. I could, I could probably, yeah, I could probably use some yeah, help overseas. It would help. Nah, nah. We should take a hemisphere. Also looking up, also looking up pictures of ball lightning. Every like fifth picture is the magic card ball lightning. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> apparently, it's, it's very great. popular. Yeah, so that's that's basically what I would do. Um, those are all the tools that I would use. I just put together awesome art shows in the sky for everyone to see, or for people that pay to see. 